Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my fairly minimalist wardrobe. If you've been following us for a few weeks, because we haven't been up on YouTube that long, you know that we've recently made a transition to going vegan. Um, and so these clothes, I'll tell you where they're from, but that doesn't mean that necessarily the companies are super environmentally conscious. So uh, be patient with me. I'm not going to get rid of things that are not technically vegan just because that would be really wasteful. Um, and a lot of these things are really high quality, so I will keep them around. Um, but also if you are thinking about going vegan or if you are going vegan, just keep in mind that like you might not be able to buy all of these things. This tank top is literally my favorite tank top I've ever owned. It's kind of like a crop top shirt there. I really like it. Um, I wear a lot of high-waisted high -waisted jeans and stuff, so this is my favorite thing ever. Uh, I have a lot of shirts that are very similar to this, so just kind of like loose, flowy t-shirts, kind of like this one. So I just have a few different colors. I have this green one, this um, light blue one, and then this black one. This black one actually is a Penny and Sparrow shirt. I don't know if you can see the design on here. If you haven't heard of Penny and Sparrow, they're a um, music group out of Austin, and they're super cool. And then this last one is just kind of a basic white tee, and this one was from H&M. So this shirt, this tank top, I am debating whether to get rid of actually. I am keeping it around until summer to see if I like it more. Um, just because it's one of the few tank tops that I own. So if I like it, I'll keep it. Um, I wanna keep it around just to make sure. And then I ha just have a couple um, shirts for work. So just kind of collared, flowy shirts. I really like this one. This one's from Anthropology actually. It's the only thing I've ever liked from Anthropology, but I like it. Um, the thing I love about it is I can pack it and because it loses its wrinkles. So right now it's a little bit wrinkly, but like if I were to wear it, it within like, 30 minutes, the wrinkles would be completely out, so the fabric is just really nice. So I like that, um, I can travel with it. I travel for work a lot, so this is so nice to have because the wrinkles come out really, really nicely. This one's from H&M, but I love the pattern of it, so I have to keep it hung up and ironed and everything. I love sweaters. <laughs> I've always loved sweaters. Um, I even wear them in Texas constantly, even when it's like warm outside. I'll wear them with shorts just because <laughs> I love them so much. So um, I have found kind of like the perfect cardigan. It's from Urban and I quickly Googled it before making this video. I don't think Urban Outfitters is that great of a company. If you're trying to be really ethical and environmentally conscious, you might not be able to get these sweaters, uh, but if you don't care, then this is the best cardigan I've ever owned and I actually bought two of them. So I have one in white and one in black and they just hang perfectly. Like, I don't know if you've ever had this problem. I can never find a cardigan that is like so perfect, but I just, here, I'll put it on so you can see how awesome it is. Um, and I'm gonna keep these for as long as I can because they're so cool. So I just love how it hangs. I love the cut of it. I love the length of the sleeves. It's just the perfect cardigan. And then I have this um, other crop sweater also from Urban, um, which is kind of a cool greenish color. I have one pair of leggings. I am probably gonna get another pair of leggings. I still wear these. They're like the right length for me. I have really long legs, so that's good. So I like that they're the right length, um, but <laughs> I don't usually wear a color like this. So, but um, funny story, we were, like when we were really hardcore building the van and like out there every weekend, the guy who was helping us build it, Brett, I would warn these like every single time when we had, uh, were working on the van. And he was like, are those the only pants that you own? And it's like, uh, actually, they're the only leggings. And then I have just kind of a simple like jacket for working out. Um, this I got at American Eagle, it's pretty simple. And then this, tank top, it's super like crazy lightweight. So it's like completely see-through. <laughs> um, but I like it, I like the cut of it. And um, I like that it's so lightweight because when you're working out and like really hot, it's nice to have this. These pants are some of the comfiest pants ever. I think I, I got these forever ago as well. They're from like, I think Macy's, 
I probably got them a couple years ago. Um, Christian actually loves these. <laughs> so he wears these uh, as much as I do actually. I don't know how, but he does. Um, super comfy, super comfy lounge pants. And I like them too because like I feel like I can, I can actually wear them out pretty easily if I'm like, I, if like, I'm on my period or something and I'm like, I do not want to put some pants on. I'll put these on and if, as long as you wear them with like some nicer shoes, they look pretty nice. So I like that about them, but then you can also wear them around the house. And then these two tops that I have, they're just nice kind of thermal-ish um, long sleeve shirts. So when I am in a colder climate, um, like I'll travel, my family lives in the Northwest um, and I was just in Colorado last week. So if I'm ever in a colder climate, I will always bring these, at least one of them, because they just make a huge difference layering underneath everything. Okay, so dresses, I have three. So this one's kind of like a, a t-shirt dress. This is from H&M, um, super lightweight. I like it a lot. This is a really, really flowy, stretchy dress. So it's nice, I haven't worn it in a while, but it's really nice in the summer. Um, because it's just so like open and airy and so I get no, like not hot. Plus it's long enough. These two dresses, I don't know if like tall girls out there have trouble, I'm not that tall, I'm 5'8", but um, it's still really hard to find dresses right now that are long enough. Like not, like you can find maxi dresses, but you, it's hard to find kind of like mid-length dresses that are long enough. So both of these are actually long enough, which I love. So I don't feel like I'm, you know, gonna bend over and flash somebody, which is really nice. Lastly, this dress, which is kind of like my, I use this as my more formal dress, kind of little black dress type of thing. Um, and this is nice because like the other day I was at a friend's wedding and I wore this and I actually like flew in from work to cut, like to go to the wedding. And so I could pack this and it just like rolls up really small and doesn't need like ironed or anything. So that's a really nice thing about this dress. I don't think it could necessarily cover every formal event that I'm ever, I would ever have to go to, but at least for now, this is what I have. My favorite pair of jeans that I think I've ever owned are these ones. And they're just kind of like, they're from Urban, and so they're high-waisted with holes and everything, um, and then like frayed at the bottom. I have some high-waisted uh, mom jeans, boyfriend jeans, whatever you want. I think the high-waisted ones are mom jeans. Is that how it works? So um, these ones, also from Urban. Some skirts for work. This one is also from Urban. And I think this zipper is, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a, a zipper there. Um, I think the zipper is supposed to go in the back, but I actually like wearing it in the front. And then this skirt is super simple. Kind of same thing as like my formal dress, my little black dress that I was talking about. This like doesn't get wrinkly or anything. Um, and it's just a nice like stretchy pencil skirt type of thing. And so I like the color, it works with a lot of things. And then I have some denim shorts, which I have not worn in a while, but gotta have those. This hat um, is like, my favorite hat. Yeah, check out Local Knits. They have like, not only do they have hats like these, they have like different designs and everything, but they have um, beanies and sweatshirts and hoodies um, and like mug, like wrapper things. Anyways, super, super cool. I have a beanie. This I got from Iceland. Super, super warm hat. Iceland knows how to do their winter wear, man. If you like need some, really good winter wear, buying in Iceland. Um, and then this scarf, I like the coloring of this scarf. It's super warm and you can do a lot with it. This other scarf, I kind of use this as a head scarf when I'm feeling super boho, um, usually in the summer, but I haven't worn it in a while, so I might be getting rid of it soon, but um, I'm keeping it around to see again if I like it in the summer. I have a couple just like hoodie type sweatshirts. Um, I, so what I do for my job is I work for um, student life for an alternative higher education company, which is why I travel all the time, like I'm putting on events. But because I go to so many events, I accumulate event and company wear <laughs> all the time. And so I think I've like, over the course of this whole career, I've like given away so many sweatshirts, like event shirts and stuff. So. I have some right now. I probably won't keep this around forever, but I'm keeping this around because this event, this is like our big event that is coming up in August. 
And so I'm gonna keep it around at least until the event so I can wear it there. But, um, but yeah, I actually designed this, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty fun to wear your own designs. And then also this sweatshirt, which is super nice. Um, but this is like our company slogan. And then I have a couple just kind of like lighter jackets. I have this one um, from Free People, I think. But just kind of like a, a bomber, I think is what these are called. Um, and then I have this uh, faux leather, not actual leather, um, jacket. And then this is my heavy jacket. So um, I actually got this in Iceland. Iceland, like I said, does their outerwear uh, like nobody's business. It's awesome. Um, we were in Iceland for our honeymoon and I had spaced and forgot my jacket. Um, and so we bought these there and I will keep this around for a while. It's, it's the best jacket that I've ever owned. It's pretty light actually for how warm it keeps you. These boots, I'm, as you can see, they're kind of like on their last leg. I'll probably be getting some better like hiking boots um, once we are in the van and like I need those. And then I have these boots, these black boots, which I've kind of waffled on these for a while, but I feel like they're interesting. So I keep them around and they're nice. Like, like they look like you're more dressy a little bit than my other boots. So if I need to go to work or something, I can wear these. Um, I wear these flats. I got these for like 10 bucks at H&M. Um, I just needed some for, you know, the rest of my time in the office. Uh, but these, I actually like them a lot, so they're not too uncomfortable. And then I have my running shoes, which I'll probably need to get some new ones pretty soon. They're not the highest quality. I think I got them from Target and they were like whatever Target's brand is, but they have like memory foam in them. So they're, they're pretty comfortable, especially if I'm just like running errands or something. And then Burks. Again, don't hate me. <laughs> I bought these before we went vegan. And so I'm gonna keep these around because I know they last for forever and I'll probably just like, if they need repairs, I'll keep them, keep them going. I think they do have vegan versions actually. I don't know how well they last, but, um, but if you like the style and everything, there are options. So that's everything I own. Um, it feels like a lot <laughs> actually. Um, and planning this video, I actually got rid of a few other things to be completely honest. If you know of any companies that are like doing great, please let me know as well, because we're definitely in the thick of doing research about everything when it comes to like what companies we should be supporting and everything. So let me know if there are resources um, and if you know of, if there are companies that you like religiously shop at because they're really good. Um, that would be really, really helpful to me. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later, bye.